goodness, I was just, just running into sleep and there was a creeper in my house. I don't know if it spawned in there or if it wandered in there. I hope that was the only one or else I'm about to get blown up in my bed. Hello everyone, welcome back. I have got my very last two villagers. I don't know what's happened to the rest of them. <laughs> I, I think the zombies, I, I haven't done a very good job of protecting them or looking after them in any way. And I think the zombies have got them all. So um, these are my last two. And if I fail, then I think I'm just gonna have to go to another village and, and start again. So my goal is to try and get them both with one potion of weakness give them both an apple and then i need to separate them before they turn back um because if i don't then one may like get cured quicker than the other and then attack the other one and they might pop out of the minecarts as soon as they get cured so that's the plan as far as it goes and we will see what happens All right. So, potion of weakness. Will this get, I hope this gets both of you. You, you. Okay. Good. Um. Now I really need to separate them. Okay. You hold that. Can I get you to all? Oh, yeah, this is why I've got armor on. <laughs> what about if I just put rails down? Will you slide along? Or if I put rails down for you? Oh, maybe that's maybe that's what I should do. I think I've got a little bit of time because it takes them a, a bit of time. Just. Okay, you've got my sword and you are hurting me a lot. Don't know if there's a rail underneath you. Oh, I should have planned ahead and got some powered rails and I could push him. Um, just want to give him a little push. Okay, that worked. He did get me, but you know. How many fences have I got? So actually, maybe I should be completely. So when I thought I had more villagers, I hope there's no creeper up here waiting for me. He is waiting for me. They're patient. <gasps> no, don't blow up my villagers. They're the only two left. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, I think I've already got some spider eyes, but if I'm going to start breeding villagers, I might need some more. I will actually have to find a fortress at some point because I've got no blaze powder. Anyway, so I've... I will pretty this area up again because those houses got completely wrecked. But when I thought I had more villagers, I had these beds lined up in here to let them breed and then I was going to let their babies come over here and I had water here and I was just going to put the, them down the babies down a little water chute but then I realized I don't have any villagers left it's just literally these two the rest have all gone which is very sad So you two, it has to work. I need both of you to get better and make a family, please. Oh, one guy's turned. Perfect. Um, now one, he, mm, he might already have a profession because he might be, no, he doesn't. I don't know where my cartographer went. I don't know where my farmers went, but it, he might not even have a profession. I hope this guy cures as well. Maybe he didn't get with the splash potion. 
Although he is shaking, and that means he's doing something, doesn't it? I think. We'll just keep waiting. <gasps> yes! Perfect! Oh, and I get my armor back. And you didn't even pop out of your cart. Okay. Do I want to let you out of your cart? Um, it's a big decision whether or not I let you. I keep expecting him to whack me if I go close. Oh, he might. He's got a farmer hat on, so he might already have a trade. Yeah, okay, so this is one of my farmers. Oh, but I've got loads of melons and pumpkins so I can get tons of emeralds. So that's good. And you can be a librarian. Okay, so I've been thinking about it and if I want these guys to breathe, then I need them both to... I don't want to hurt you. Okay, that was good. I need the farmer, I need them both to accept food and I need the farmer to, I would prefer if he just kept feeding the villagers for me. I want to get you out. <gasps> okay, I think that's all good. Um, but the problem is, because I wasn't paying any attention to what the farmer was, like what crops he was using before, um, I need him to plant out all his old crops so that they can eat something consistent because they have to they have this weird thing with the food slots that probably everybody else understands better than me, but they need to have a certain amount of food to breed. And if they've got lots of different types of food partially filling up all their food slots, then they never get full enough to make babies. It's very complicated being a villager, isn't it? So I need you, farmer, to plant out all your crops so I can see what you're holding on to. And then I guess I could start feeding him at the same time what would i like them to eat um yes it doesn't really matter too much might just give them potatoes i have to try and remember what i feed them so i might need an item frame and stick a potato in it or i'll just make a sign saying only feed them potatoes so i remember and I need to make, okay, let me put down some stuff. It's such a mess in here. Oh my goodness. I really need to clean this up. Put that away. And I'll have to run and get some. Okay, you, that's for you, farmer. And am I ready to trade? If you, Yeah, I've got paper, so. Um, I don't even know what book I want. What do I want? I guess probably Silk Touch is um, very handy. Nope. Oh, first book is pending. <laughs> I... I will take it. I can't really turn down a 1M or mending for my first book trade, can I? All right. Uh, if, if he could just, like, turn up Silk Touch next, that would be amazing. Yeah, please. Uh, let me get some more paper. Well, that's actually not bad. Um, Depth Strider is good. I need more books. Oh, I'm going to need a librarian with a bookshelf trade to get lots of books. Okay. I think I've got a bit of running around to do. Are you not planting anything? Nothing at all? Hmm. 
Mm. So I was just thinking that actually maybe, maybe when I convert them, that clears out all their their food inventory. So they might actually both be empty, which would be super handy. Oh, now what have I got more of? Carrots or potatoes? I think I've got about the same. Mm, what's more useful? Neither. Um, I'm really torn. I don't think it matters. I'll just do potatoes. I said that's what I was going to do. All right. So I'm going to give them both a whole lot of potatoes and beds. And the thing with beds is, I do find villages really tedious because there's so many different rules you have to remember. So just let me chuck this out here. Let me get these beds. So they need enough beds for them and a bed for a baby. But also the babies have to be able to jump on the beds. So you have to have an area that's tall enough for the babies to jump on. But um, they'll likely start spawning iron golems too, which can get really irritating. So I think... I think if I put the beds like down here then the babies can jump on them but it's not tall enough for an iron golem to spawn. Although iron golems can actually still be spawning out here. I wonder if I should block that off. I think I, I'll have to build an area for the iron golems to spawn later. Yeah, okay. So let me put... Let me put some beds in here. And I promise I will make it prettier later. I just want to get them started because it takes such a long time. Um, uh, yeah, I can break that. He's traded up. So let me put the beds back here. Okay. Have lots of potatoes on me. Yep. I'll just stand back and let them think about all this for a bit. You've got beds. The babies can jump on them. You've got... Oh, they made a baby straight away. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, oh, I always forget the babies can just go anywhere. Uh, that's so frustrating. No, no. Oh... Okay. Okay. Um, 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 um. Oh, you're going to jump on my bed, are you, baby? Actually, no, I don't want you to go back in there. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, I don't want you to go back to your parents. I want you to... I need more rails. I want you to step into my delightful minecart ride that I have made for you. Let me make the minecart ride a little bit bigger. Ah. Okay, let me try this again. All right. Off you go. Go and play in the minecart. Go and play in the minecart. Don't. What if he grows up in a block? Will he suffocate? Um. Go and play in the minecart. Minecarts are so much fun, very safe for little babies. Oh, he wants to sleep. Just go and sleep in my bed. I need some powered rails to keep that moving. Okay, I will bring the minecart ride to you. Yay! 
Yay! Okay. So... Um, all right, I need to think of a way to siphon off their babies as they make them, which sounds really terrible. But I might, I might uh, grab the babies and put them in another room. And I need to get a zombie into a minecart as well. Okay. So you stay there. I wonder if I can just get a zombie tonight. Oh, you'll do, you'll do. Come, come in here. Um. <sighs> and, 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 and. Ah, okay. Oh, I don't have any armor on. Um. Okay, there's another zombie. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're going to kill me, aren't they? Okay. Um, actually, why don't I just... Surely you can just... One of you can hop in there? Oh, I kind of need someone who's going to hold bricks. Although I've got the librarian, so I can get a name tag pretty easily. So that's fine. just need to make sure he doesn't burn up. How am I going to do this? Uh, I really ought to start planning the stuff better. Alright, I am I'm actually so happy that that's all gone really well so far. Yay! Um, I think my next steps and I'll probably just time lapse it, is I just need to make a room for the Zombert and I have to have a little system for popping the babies out into mine carts so that I can push them down to the Zombert when I'm ready to cure them and and make a little house for these guys. So um, I think that might be it. I don't know if this is a really short episode or if it's just a lot of me uh, <laughs> not knowing what I'm doing uh, but we'll um, yeah, I think that's it. Bye.